House Trade Advisor visited a local plant today. Peter Navarro says this plant in Newcastle is a prime example of manufacturing that's working for its community and for the country. Money editor John Delano was along for the tour and later sat down with Navarro for a story you'll see only on KDKA. Long before he met Donald Trump, Dr. Peter Navarro, an economist, warned about America's trade deficit, especially with China. Now working in the White House on trade policy, Navarro on Thursday toured North American Forge Masters in Newcastle, a steel forging joint venture of Elwood Group and Scott Forge. We're, we're coming back in the last couple of years under President Trump, uh, this defense industry is coming back. Navy Secretary Richard Spencer joined Navarro in the tour of a plant that makes 72 foot long main propulsion shafts for Virginia class attack submarines. They've innovated in the process out here by not only investing money but by thinking through it differently to save me about $30 million on the unit. That is exactly what the U.S. Navy likes to see because at the end of the day, we're entrusted with your treasure, your taxpayers' dollars, and we're trying to get the most efficient, effective product we can. And we're buying it right here in the United States of America. Following the tour, I sat down with Navarro, who says he works with the president to increase manufacturing jobs, which he says are on the rise. And it's all good. We're over half a million manufacturing jobs and counting. And Navarro points to this region in particular. This is no longer the Rust Belt. This is the Trump hub of prosperity. And it's because manufacturing is coming back. He credits the president's trade policies. Because we have trade policies which defend American workers against all this unfair trade. And we have um, other kinds of policies which are designed uh, to promote American workers. Now, those other policies include buy American and hire American. The Navy secretary told me the Navy Department is now required to buy American steel. But not everyone likes tariffs or think the president has a thought-out approach to trade. Coming up at 6, you'll see more of my interview with Navarro and reaction to his comments from Senator Bob Casey and others. Ken?